Human rights, though it is two short words, is a sprawling concept. And often it's the rights part that we concentrate on, justifiably so, as they are imperative. However, especially in the severely divided times, it might behoove us to take a minute to re-establish the first part of that phrase. Before we even try to answer the question, what are rights? Maybe we should think firstly about the question, what is human? Put simply, we is human. All of us in this room, everyone in this country, everyone, welcome back, sir. Everyone in Whisper It, Europe. Everyone in every country and continent, everyone on this planet, this planet we all share, the only thing that unites us all is the fact that we are all human. So wherever you're from and whatever you believe in, you are human first. So before we talk about human rights, we should all share the human rights that we should all share and have access to. It is important to remember our humanity. And therefore, when it comes to rights, no one should have more and no one should have less. No religion unites the world, no race, no gender, no sexuality, no political identity or ideology. Nothing unites the world except one thing, and that one thing is our humanity, our innate, elemental, indelible humanness is what we all have in common. So any rights you believe you are entitled to logically extend to everyone else on the planet. So when we talk of human rights, there is no us versus them. There is just us. Whoever you are, whatever your race, religion, background, however you identify, whoever you love, we should all feel safe and included in this new Northern Ireland, one that shines outwardly and proudly into the world rather than the remote place my generation and generations before grew up in. Us means everyone. Everyone in Northern Ireland deserves to be treated with respect, kindness, and have access to the things that sustain us and strengthen us, not just our, just, not just our communities, but create connect, connecting fibers between communities previously distinct or even at odds with one another. Humanity is currently experiencing an atonal symphony of dovetailing catastrophes. So making sure people have access to basic human rights is more important now than it has ever been. As this is the Northern Ireland Human Rights Commission, I'll be concentrating on what's happening in Northern Ireland more than what's happening in the wider world. But it is important <coughs> to remember that we are part of a global community and that we should feel connected to the world now. I grew up in a Northern Ireland that didn't feel connected to the world at all. We were isolated and insular, but through our art, culture, world champion athletes, many expats making their lives in the US, Canada, Australia, and all over the world, we are now a big part of the world at large, and we should celebrate that. And it should also make us cognizant of the fact that the citizens of the world we interact with, though they may be from different cultures and religions and backgrounds, are our brothers and sisters and kin and fellow travelers on this timeline. We're all on this roller coaster together. And while the deepest part of my soul goes to what is happening to the people of Ukraine, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia and Eritrea, Myanmar, Israel and Palestine, Kashmir, many, many other places in the world, and of course the biggest and least discussed humanitarian crisis on the planet right now in Yemen, where 75% of the people of Yemen are reliant on humanitarian aid. I will be talking about Northern Ireland for the most part. <clears throat> 